Okay, let's go. Hi, uh, I'm Jeff here from One, and today I'm joined by some really special guests. I'm here with uh, Mia, Tiffany, Angela, and Alti, and they're the stars of Sundance Channel's amazing new show, uh, Push Girls. And ladies, it really is lovely to meet you. One of the real luxuries of my job is I get a chance to meet incredible people on some days, and, and today's really one of those days, so thank you for taking the time. And, and you know, there's so much going on now. You've got, you've got your show, you're here at Sundance, all these new experiences. What's, what's that like for you? Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. Like, there's so much stuff going on. I mean, it's Yeah. Yeah. There's like, yeah, it's a dream. It's like it's incredible awesome. energy, I think. Yeah, we're just feeding up the energy. Is there anything that's just what you thought it would be, or things that are like you could have never imagined? Some things that I didn't think were going to happen happen, but it's all coming out very cool. This is an honor to have such a platform in this magnitude that we can reach out to so many people and um, you know change the stereotype, you know, the way people think. You know, that idea of a platform is really a great one. You know, at one, what we do is we bring together millions of people. We say, we're not asking for your money, we're asking for your voice. And one of the things I'm amazed by is how powerful those voices are together. We've achieved things like 46 million more kids in school or millions of kids' lives saved by vaccines that otherwise wouldn't get them. So one's really about the collective power of voices. Um, do you feel like you're going through something similar where your voices together are more powerful than your own? I think that's what strings our friendship together. I mean, like we all individually have this um, this you know goal to be able to you know break stereotypes and to go on and live positive lives. And the fact that we all have it when we get together, it just makes it that much more powerful. Magnetize yeah, it. it totally. I mean, we all have a charisma like for life in general, and so together it totally it just makes it. Easy. Common denominator is not our wheelchair, it's our spirit. Yes. Oh, what a beautiful thing to say. You know, and, and, I, and I like to think that, that at our best, maybe one is like that. That our common denominator is the idea that um, every life has the same value, that regardless of where you are born, you, do, you deserve a chance for a, a decent chance in your life. I did want to talk about that idea of getting after something that seems impossible. You know, we're actually here this weekend filming a short film about the beginning of the end of AIDS. And it doesn't matter how many times I hear it, Every time I hear that statement, it's just so amazing to me that by 2015, four short years from now, we could reach the tipping point in this epidemic that's taken 30 million lives in 30 years. So it's just breathtaking. And one of the ways we describe it sometimes is this idea of making the impossible possible. Um, to me, you guys are, are living examples of that, but I wonder if you could wonder if you could talk about that a little bit. Facing everyday life with, with the challenge that's coming before you on an everyday basis, at, if you look at the heaviness of the situation and you dwell on that, it's hard for you to get over the hump. But if you look to the brighter side of life, of being able to being able to overcome these things and go over that hump like it's just a little hill to go over it and there's sunshine on the other side then then we'll all be able to embrace each other and this comes close home to me because I've lost some loved ones to AIDS and I so look forward to the end of it and I'm embracing it. And I think a, a common theme that everybody should have, regardless of what's going on, is hope. And I think yeah. hope is what makes the impossible possible. Um, and, and that's the bottom line, to be honest. Like, just keep hope alive with whatever you're going through. And of course, it all starts with your attitude. Because the thing about being a human being is we have the choice, the choice to make a decision of what road we want to take. Whether we want to go down a negative path or a positive path. So once you make that initial decision and you go down that positive path, and if you have your warriors with you, you can attain anything you want. No, it's exactly right. Like if you count what you have and count your blessings and be grateful for that and not look at what you're lacking or what you what you may not have, you know, your appreciation for life is on a whole nother level. And, you know. Making them possible. Yes. You guys are amazing. So we have millions of one members around the world, and right now is not the. I'm one. <laughs> you? What? I am. One what? She's one, one of the one. Oh my God! One oh. one one one. Eleven eleven. Wow! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. So we have these millions of members around the world, and one in the room right here, and. 
now's not the easiest time for them. Okay? But if you look at the economic climate, um, it's a real challenge. And this is the hardest time in, in our fight on behalf of the poorest people on the planet. You guys are so inspirational and your will is so strong and you look at um, obstacles as things to be easily overcome. I'd love if you have a message to one members out there who sometimes might wonder, hey, can we really do this? What would your message to them be? I think that challenging yourself on a daily basis, you know what I mean? And you think that you can't do something, how do you know if you don't try, you know? There's all kinds of things that, you know, when this first happened, like, oh my god, I couldn't ever do that. Couldn't, and then you, you realize, well, if you don't try, you're not going to be able to accomplish anything. So I think it's about never giving up and always pushing forward. I think it's also about not being afraid of, of fear, which is, sometimes fear paralyzes people. And I think when you realize that fear is just an opportunity for you to be courageous. You can only yeah, get that by like, facing fear. So I, I think that's one of the things is not being afraid of it. Just going on no matter what. And I think if, since we were able to go to the moon, if, and that seemed like it was the most impossible thing for us to leave this planet, to go to the moon, and we made it happen, and we took funds to make that happen, to save this planet, we're thinking about like, you know, going out into space and building these space homes and things. And saving the planet, if you want to save the human race, why not put funds towards that? And if that can happen, something yeah. this. I totally believe it can be possible. Yep, it's true. I actually have a dear friend who I met 14, 15 years ago. And he is, was one of, or is one of the longest living, with full-blown AIDS, um, Joel Rothschild. He wrote a book called Signals. And when I met this man, amazing man, the one thing that I learned from him, this was before my accident, was he had stated to me that, or he showed me in his ways, is that you don't focus on what you don't have, you focus on what you do have. And you embrace that and you're grateful for that. And then you can just go forward in any direction that you want. Ladies, thank you so much for your time. It is an inspiration to me, and I can, I can only hope that the people watching this are getting uh, a fraction of the feeling that's in the room right now, because it really is beautiful. Uh, check us out on Facebook backslash one, and I'll also put the plug in. Make sure to watch Push Girls and Sundance Channel starting in March. April. April. In April. April. In April. <laughs> I wanted it so much, I put them in. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thank Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.